Hello, welcome to Match Fishing in Spain. My name's Ian Brown. Um, bit ad hoc, this. Um, just had a ride round my local area. I'm down at Pedrera. Uh, just thought I'd give you a, an heads up as to what it's like at the moment. Uh, at the moment, you can only see me, but this is the lake and what a lake it is. Uh, we're on a bit of a point, um, just short of what they call the match point. Uh, I'm going to have a bit of a walk round and uh, show you a few places. Um, absolute stuff with carp and barbel this place. Uh, and it's very, very low. Normally where you can see uh, these trees for instance, that's normally where we're sort of fishing. But you can see, and we're fishing in this lot, so you can understand why we get so snagged. Uh, when we are fishing um, So I just have a walk around. I'm just walking from What would be peg one normally where you normally get a couple of pegs on it down there I'm walking around into this bay. You can't fish this area obviously uh, Because it's just too snaggy and too shallow uh, But as you go a little bit further around now You'll see where I'm walking uh, Gets around to some other pegs. The only other problem with this place is it is always very very windy. I mean it's a lovely day today it's probably 26 27 degrees uh, but it's not that warm actually. You can see you can fish all these pegs. Uh, can you hear the wind? It is really really windy uh, but there's literally loads of pegs and if you're careful you can drive around right the back with it solo. As I say, normally we're about with our bushes, that's where we normally sat. So we're here now. Uh, you can drive your car down these paths. You don't have to have a four before or anything like that. Any sort of car you'll get down here with. Uh, but a word of warning, if you do ever come down and it starts raining, pack up, get in your car and drive off. See, so you look at these pegs now here. Well, we just got promising my, my up there. A couple of local lads having to do. Uh, they've only been here an hour, and uh, one's had two carp in three casts. Uh, it's not always like that, let me assure you. But uh, definitely, uh, it's worth a visit. It's definitely worth a visit. And the more bait that goes in, uh, the better it is. Now, these are pegs that we've fished lots of times. Uh, nice solid, nice solid banking. Uh, and then just in front of me now, you can see an island. Now that island uh, is usually, it's usually underwater. So you can see how far down the, the water's down. It's down what six foot, seven foot, maybe ten foot really, because it's usually over that island. Uh, all these pegs here we used to fish and this is well we still fish this is the actual match point as we call it very often the better pegs here but you just got to pick where you're fishing and if you look all around i mean straight opposite the other side of the island there's the dam wall you can't get down there you can't get anywhere near there but all these areas around here with a bit of careful driving, and I say careful driving, you can get to them. Uh, our first match on here is in May. But we may well have a match before that, because the water may well be up after that. Uh, and this obviously is the best time to fish it. I mean, look at these pegs here. These are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I reckon in front of you there, you've got a good six foot of water. two reeds popping up here so I don't know maybe not maybe a bit further out uh, and then you go on to this side <coughs> and this side normally is a lot shallower uh, a lot more uh, slope uh, but this is normally the nice uh, well this is very often gets the wind straight in your face but you can 
you see today it's the other way this slick normally goes the other way around uh, there's the twin towers over there in the distance uh, just looking at now where that sticky up bit is and down towards that corner is that uh, house that was on home in the sun years ago uh, the Alicante house or whatever they want to call it but there's loads of pegs here I reckon we could get at least 20 people fishing here whatsoever come down the road access off the main road uh, like we used to do a lot of work been done on that I know Tricky has been doing some work at, the, at it and you can drive down you're not knackering your car you can get down here uh, there's a motorbike frame here that's off but uh, anyway I'll have a walk back to the lads now and uh, see if they caught any more fish <laughs> 